I don't know if they're setting up for something or if they're tearing down for something, but we are here at Charlotte Motor Speedway and welcome to the Infinite Riders channel. But today we're taking a look at this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Check it out. We got a 2023 Harley Davidson Street Bob. Didn't look like a Street Bob at first, did it? Maybe it did. <laughs> Aaron over at Speedway Harley Davidson, the sales manager came up with a custom idea for this Street Bob. They threw on the Harley Davidson quarter fairing. They threw on the Harley Davidson engine guard. They threw on this Bassani 50th anniversary edition two in the one and why not an anniversary edition it's harley davidson's 120th year they threw on the saddleman step-up seat which is a touring saddleman step-up seat because it's got a little bit wider spot on the back for the bootay for your passenger they also threw on the willie g foot pegs for the front for the rear for the grips and of course y'all know how much i love t-bars they threw on the factory 47 12 inch pullback bars and they look good so we're about to ride this baby back over to the dealership i'm gonna tell y'all what i love about this bike and why i like the way they set this thing up so dude <laughs> let's get this baby cranked up the rumble of basani i had to add in the sound effects for y'all because y'all can't really get a feel of how this joker sound through the through the mic setup I got here, but it sounds so good, so good. I don't usually gawk over the street bob, but I saw them pull this one out onto the showroom floor, and I was like, damn, because <laughs> this baby look good. I love the way Aaron set it up. It's set up basically probably how I would set it up if this was my bike two in the one Bassani which sounds amazing I am really starting to like the Bassani um pipes a lot more I used to be all about Vans and Heinz but I do love the Bassani now I really like the Sawiki or Sidwiki Sidwiki Sawiki whatever it's called I like those exhausts too I want to get one of those I think broke pockets with high ambitions <laughs> y'all like my mesh jacket <laughs> It's mesh AF, but you know, you know what AF stands for. They trying to say it stands for airflow, but I doubt that. So the street bob set up in this configuration is nice. It's nice. You got a little bit of wind protection with that quarter fairing. Adding on a little bit of performance with that two in the one. Definitely changed the way this bike feels with the um, 12 inch T-bars with the pullback. Like, it just i don't know i'm loving it we also got those engine guards down there that help protect the bike and i guess you could probably do this with the engine guards too if you want your knees in the breeze you can put your feet up <laughs> i don't know if i would suggest that that ain't the most comfortable thing but whatever and y'all know i love saddleman seats so we got the saddleman seat over here to lock you in and it's windy AF. It is windy AF today. All I feel is wind. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Not, not coming from the front, you know. I got a little bit of chest protection coming from the front, but I'm feeling a lot of side winds hitting me. And I'm sure y'all are hearing that wind. But the Street Bob is a great option for someone looking for a soft tail and they want to customize it a little bit. It definitely looks a little bit different than the Lowrider S and your ST models, but it still provides you with good performance. You got that 114 motor in here that you can build it up as far as you want to build it to. Want to get it to that 131 status or something like that. The bike 
the bike feels lightweight it's fairly nimble seating position is comfortable you know it's got mid controls on it my knees are my legs are at like a 90 degree angle and i'm like six feet tall so and i'm not no little dude and i'm fairly comfortable on this bike like i don't feel uncomfortable in no shape way for well maybe i feel uncomfortable in shape because over the last few months i got a little bit round but on the bike i mean i feel good i feel good on the bike i love the relocation of the speedo it looks clean it's a very clean design and the bars i usually like my bars i like the straight bars because it'll push my hands a little bit further away but the pullbacks are cool too it might give you a little bit more control with the pullbacks but i like my bars straight because then my hands would be more like like right out here instead of back but that's just because i'm i'm taller and probably because i'm used to straight t-bars because that's what i got on my sporty i feel like i should do the harley stoplight thing everyone knows what the harley stoplight thing is right <laughs> you gotta rev it a few times before you pull off <laughs> Oh my God, that joke uh, yankity dank dank to me. Yeah, my finger got caught on the on the on the clutch. Don't don't worry about that. That don't mean I don't know how to. I know what I'm doing. I'm professional at this. I know exactly what I'm doing. Do you hear me? I know what I am doing. It's okay. So the ride is comfortable. I'm not feeling a whole lot of the road. You know, as you can see, the bike is extremely extremely flickable you can flick this thing side to side it's got plenty of torque plenty of usable power that you'd be using on the street or on the highway i guarantee this baby's got plenty of passing power i honestly can't think of any major gripe with this motorcycle now y'all know i always like to say if this is one that i would put in my garage prior to seeing someone do it up like this with it, it's not even much it's just a two and a one a quarter fairing a saddleman seat and some t-bars it probably wouldn't have been on my top list of motorcycles i would put in the garage if i could but with it in this configuration i definitely would put this baby in my garage and i would ride it on a daily basis and i would enjoy my ride I'd be nice and comfy, plenty of power to get around. I feel like I could do some longer rides with this. You throw some bags on here, like some quick detachable bags. You'd have the perfect commuting motorcycle that you could take anywhere. You can ride it to the beach. You can ride it to the mountains. You can ride it to work. You can ride it to that prostitute's house that you plan on picking up for the evening so that that way you can have a, go have a good time because um facebook dating and all those other um <laughs> sites ain't been working for you this is a well-rounded all-around motorcycle that you can pretty much do everything on and i'm not just saying that i'm not i like the bike i really do oh man this baby got some juice ah uh, i'm through it now oh, we leaning it further than i wanted to lean it oh well too late it's quite maneuverable and it's fun to ride that's what's most important that's what's most important when you're getting a motorcycle you're not getting a motorcycle just to commute on so you can be like i'm on my way to the grocery store got to go pick up some milk and eggs did i put bread on my lid no you're riding it to have fun and enjoy your ride to and from where you're going you don't even care about the destination you don't care where you're about to go you riding to have fun during the ride and i feel like this bike would provide you that it definitely will provide fun excitement enjoyment now is it the most eye-catching motorcycle on the road no it's a street bob but it's fun it's a fun bike y'all see it it'll move it do what it do baby and that's in what you got a gear indicator so i was in fourth gear it just pulled right on past there like if you're looking for like one motorcycle at a reasonable price that you could put in the garage and pretty much do everything with 
this is a perfect option for you this this would be one that you could do that on speedway does quite a few of these customs they're rolling them out like crazy now where they're customizing some of the new 2023s to give you the option to pick up something a little different than your best friend or your buddy picked up last week like last week your buddy picked up um a red street bop and you go back and you want a red street bop so that y'all can be matching bros and look like his and her bikes even though it's his and his or your, your best friend whatever man you can come back and pick up something that's been customized like this and have something a little bit different and better than your buddy and you can tease him and you can be like aha my bike is better than your bike you know you can do all that things because lately they've always been having they've been having at least one custom on the floor at all time i'm noticing but make sure you subscribe to this channel like this video comment down below like this bike man this bike is nice i like it i do like it share my content <laughs> comment for that algorithm man bell notification all of the shit that i need y'all to do so that, that way I can focus even more and more on YouTube and pop out more and more videos and do all that stuff, man. Do it all. We're pulling back up the speedway here to the dealership. The live wire truck is here. They actually got a Delmar on that baby. Um, it might not be exciting to y'all, depending on when I drop this video. The Delmar might already like, be out there. I don't know when I'm gonna put this one out, but um, yep, come on past. I'm gonna let you go past. But yeah, I'll check y'all out in that next one. The next video that I put out in a few days. Come on, man. Alright, deuces. Love y'all. All that good stuff.